please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So to start with, what is your sense on what would happen now? And also, what is the Indian percentage of the global trade that India holds right now? And would that or not have an impact on the international trade from this? So in case of India, we have a larger investor base uh, than a trader base. Indians don't uh, necessarily trade a lot of cryptocurrency, but a lot of Indians are invested in cryptocurrency. Uh, and if, if they've taken savings, then, you know, they're looking at it as a long-term asset. And I mean, right now the numbers could be in millions of you know potential people who hold cryptocurrency. Now, I mean, we appreciate that government wants to come up with laws and policies to regulate, and we understand government's concerns. But at the same time, we also have to look at the uh, human side of the story. Where we've got millions of potential people who are holding on to some kind of cryptocurrency, and if they do not have ability to transact with the cryptocurrency, essentially this becomes a dead asset mm. for everybody who holds cryptocurrency within India because they cannot make any uh, transaction with these cryptocurrencies. So how are uh, you know how is this going to mm. impact these people, and how much money is invested, and what kind of economic impact the situation could have is something that needs to be analysed. Uh, Ms. Napina, you want to, you know, uh, comment on the point that was just being made there, that this is now virtually a dead asset. You said you wouldn't go as far as to say it's a ban, but if Vishal is saying that it now becomes a dead asset, what do people who have already invested do? Yes, that's a fair point, because, the, the, in fact, I have been heard to say many times that uh, uh, the gov a government regulatory body can't just resort to uh, cautionary notes. Uh, more so when so many mm. investors are getting into the market. Uh, from 2013 till date, several millions, as Vishal just mentioned, have got into the market. The reason why I said it doesn't amount to a complete ban is the RBI has not stopped either investors from investing or from exchanges from functioning or from investors from exiting. Even the exit clause provided in the circular is for the entities regulated by RBI to exit within a specific period of mm. time. So given that, mm. there is an option available to investors. Um, the three options which we discussed earlier also, uh, Shreen, uh, which is that they may either seek to exit, mm. they may move their uh, mm. cryptocurrencies to alternate jurisdictions, or they can wait and watch. Mm. Now, mm. with the wait and watch, what is likely to happen is that they may run the risk of their positions getting diluted further. Uh, I would not say that the uh, statement of the finance minister in February and RBI's action today is an indicator of where the government committee is likely to go. Mm. but. It is definitely not that bright that you would assume it would go completely in favor of uh, allowing everything and anything utopian that the cryptocurrency market would have wanted. Mm. So given that, uh, I would definitely say that uh, investors should exercise very, very stringent caution. Yeah. Ms. Napinai, all the three options that you put out, exit, I believe, is going to be very difficult to do now. Moving jurisdiction out is something that doesn't sound very legit. Yeah. So, Vishal, if, if, it, if you, were, you had an option to do uh, one of these three, uh, what is the easiest way out to get the money back? I mean, the funny situation is, you know, a friend of mine called me today, he said this is literally demonetization of cryptocurrency in India. Why? Because you're essentially left with an asset which you cannot monetize. And uh, if you're going to monetize it outside India, it might be deemed illegal. So if you're stuck with an asset which you can't sell for a check payment to another friend or through an exchange, and you cannot collect that cash, and if you want to collect that cash in, uh, in your bank account, your bank account could potentially be seized. So it creates a huge uh, conundrum for most people who yeah. are holding on to cryptocurrencies. Mm.